Welcome back. It's, I hate betting against Miracle Void. This guy's Void is amazing. I think OG, at some point, they can get really far ahead with this uh, Troll Mag. And the, their team fight is also really solid, too. I, I slightly favor OG. Rush could set up for another arrow here. GH, the pressure's on this time. They can connect onto No Tail. In range, they will get. Arrow's gonna follow as well. No Tail locked down. I'm guessing this is gonna be first blood. No Tail, no counterplay. He's gonna end up. They're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Maledict comes through. Miracle needs a bash here, really, and he won't find it. So Topson's gonna mid. run himself away as Topson oh, getting jumped in the middle lane. They're gonna be able to bring him down. Weeha and GH find a kill. Just GH coming in there with the leap, pressuring the Gyrocopter a bit. Line them Ooh. to get a big kill. Now this is down here at bottom over the bounty rune here. It looks like Koseb is taking oh, a lot of damage miss. inside the Maledict, but he wants to try and get the kill, but the arrow connects from GH. Bring in down, Seb. Like, that's just... You know, getting in the heads of OG, how they how they prioritize this and how they understand this is what allows them to make plays on the map. Yeah. Meanwhile, Phoenix getting very low up here in the top lane. Can I finish the job though? The Axis comes spinning on through. The Star Storm is not enough, but GH will do it with the right clicks. Now they're looking for revenge. LTW can't close the gap onto GH. He's still got another leap available and gonna salve himself up and come back in. They might be looking for the play onto the troll. Wall of this troll wall is trying to bring down mind control. Mind control, he's got himself a Slithering Crush. They have an arrow an available arrow. as well. This could be dangerous for LTW as he gets Slithering Crush. Arrow to follow. They're controlling him up so well. The two plays from Nigma stopping LTW from finding himself a kill. And now the Thunder Gods comes down, finishes the job gets a kill for Weeha. He has got regen coming out to him, I believe. Oh, he yeah, was not out, but he's going in for this kill. TP across. It's not going to be there in time, though. Mind Control is going to get the kill. RTW coming across for a bit of revenge, throws down the axe. I think Mind Control knows he's dead here, but is he turning around? Gets the bash, running away. Ranged axe finds him, brings him down. Mind Control does die for that one. Not entirely sure if that checks out as being worth it. What say you, Steven? Oh, you know it was not worth it. Tops in mid, though. He was diving Wee. There's so much Jeez. DP support coming in <laughs> for Wee. Jeez. Enigma, they're going to be happy about that. Opens up a real opportunity to take it with the level 10 catapult. But yeah, Mirka has a healing sub and Mask of Man is, he's okay to just go back after this. There's a rocket coming in though. Oh, uh, that miracle. Might be a dead miracle. Miracle. Oh god, that hurts. Meanwhile, Wee has got to drop the ultimate on the back line, trying to bring down Thompson with the Maledict on him. He will certainly fall, but they get the return kill onto Kuroki. Wee playing in the river, but ILTW trying to get on top of him. He's going to slow him down with the ranged axes. Run down. He doesn't really have the damage to get this kill though. So. And Seb is in danger of being Chrono into Arrowed down in the bottom lane if they want to make this happen. Looks like they do. Yeah. Kuro and GH, they're in the neighborhood. There's your Chrono Spear coming down. Saxa's is going to drop in though. Throw so the disruption. Good. That means the arrow is going to miss as well. Perfect positioning from Saxa to save Seb, wasting the Chrono. And I'm looking for the turnaround. Kuroki's going to be the target. He's going to try and drop the death ward onto Thompson. Thompson dropping pretty low. And the Thunder got trapped as well. They're going to tear through him like butter. Meanwhile, GH, he's taken a step too far and gets cut down by RTW. They are going to be able to make the trades here. But Thompson does die during this for two. But he needs to be careful. Ooh, yeah, that's straight on him here. Pretty Jump dead. in, stun, lightning bolts, Topson, he's got a cross phase on him, trying to run away, Miracle is on him, the disruption comes through, but that just means Sax is going to die as well, more than anything, both heroes will drop, the death ward from Kroki, pretty damn good, even getting some hits off onto ILTW here, a corrosive phase death ward, ain't nothing to mess with, Seb trying to come down, looking for the RP, can't find himself a target, could drop it onto mind control Egg. if he really wants, but he's actually out of mana right now, as no tail will fall, and Seb, he's actually in a really awkward position, the whole of Nygma coming in, it's some chain feeding going on right now, mind control jumping forward, looking for the plus one, they want to bring down RTW, he pops the ultimate to try and turn around onto mind control. Getting himself at least one kill here would be something, but that's all it's going to be. Just the one, as Miracle will put him to sleep. And they get themselves four kills on the side of Nygma. A lot of bashes. A lot of damage. Yeah. Well, Nygma seems to be Wii. in full control of this game. I was going to say, I love Wii's gameplay too, this game. He's just been so active. Like, after... Oh, GH. No oh, wow. way, dude. Oh, wow. They this nail guy. him. They take him down. He doesn't even need to see your targets to get the arrows off. <laughs> oh, He's actually ahead of the Magnus now in network. Goodness gracious. This just isn't going how they expect. Mind Control blink up to the high ground. We'll be all right. OG. They actually might not realize they're getting jumped here as the Moonlight Shadowed Heroes are making their way in. They're jumping onto this one, the Supernova comes down, but the Chronosphere comes down on top of it. Miracle just wants to take it down, crack that egg as quickly as possible. Seb threatening with the RP, but they're just keeping their distance. They're baiting him out beautifully. Seb cannot get off his spells. He's going to have a skewer in one second, but unfortunately, even if he does drop down that ultimate, it's not going to make much of a difference as they will finish him off. And now looking towards Roshan. Oh, guess what? We've got a Slada, so this Roshan is going to go down very quickly and do that corrosive haze. Minus 10 armor onto Roshan. 
it's gonna make them <laughs> take it very very fast. He's playing. He's been playing so well this game. On Wii. This is like one of his heroes. Okay. He has like three heroes that he plays like exceptionally Top soon well. comes into the middle lane, gets that Crow's Face put upon him. The arrow will not connect, fortunately, but Miracle's coming in, dropping the Chronosphere onto two heroes. So there's a perfect Chronosphere, catching out the Phoenix. And that's a double kill for Miracle. Well earned as well. And he's even looking across to RTW. RTW just want to pop the ultimate here, but might have no choice. He's got to have, have to pop the BKB at least. Now turns around, starts throwing some axes away of Miracle, but the 10 second BKB just does absolutely nothing. Miracle has 4,000 gold in the bank. Okay. Making some good investments. It's like, I, I actually thought he just got treads like not too long ago. The man's already got 4,000 gold and is about to take a tier 2 tower. Saxa has fallen. We the next target Wee here. Top. In comes the cooldown on top of the Zeus. Is it? However, I think he finished the job here. He will be able to do so. Topson finds one. Oh, Look at the GH as well. He might not be that safe. Meanwhile, no tail going down in the bottom lane. The homing missile coming through onto GH. He's got that Yulzo, but Topson gets on top of him. He has got the rocket barrage trying to finish the job here. Desperately hunting for the kill. Gets it. Gets Ooh. a double kill. Kuro okay. will finish the job on him, but still, that's a double kill for Topson up here in the top lane. Very impressive stuff in this gyrocopter. And try and get a bit of damage on the tower. Saxa and Seb waiting behind to counter any kind of play onto ILTW with a reverse polarity or a disruption. Both ah, options. they also got Miracle's Aegis, by the way. Great catch from Mind up. Control here, finding Saxa in the river. Saxa will be able to turn around and drop down the Dominic Purge. The RP coming down onto the two of them. They might be able to spread through the face of Void. Do they have the damage? Yes, they do. The Void is dead, and they're going to be able to follow up with the kill onto Mind Control as well. Pops How are they too. doing this? They're looking for more. Wii's going to be the next target. They've got that homing missile coming out onto him, so Invis isn't doing much good here. RTW trying to close that gap. He's got the axes coming down. OG are not stopping. The train has left the station, and Wii's getting run over. Kuro on the high ground might be the plus one here. RTW and Seb, they're looking for it. Axe is coming down onto Witch Doctor. Beautiful arrow from GH though. They're coming up with the Death Ward. They're gonna kill off the Troll Warlord. I don't believe it. The support duo from Nigma play it perfectly. They are gonna lose Hero in the end, but by every stretch of the imagination, I mean, they, they did everything they could. It's, yeah. Uh, if they knew about this, they would be much more scared than they are now. Oh, you're actually smoking up into this. This could be very, very bad if they can get off their damage. They're gonna lose no tail straight off the bat. The disruption does come through. They're gonna Might want to get off the supernova does do so, but GH immediately jumping in, but they actually want to back themselves away. They're realizing the threat of the RP is huge, but the RP is countered by the Chronosphere from Miracles. He's been able to take down two, but now the RP comes out and the ultimate from RTW chopping through the face of this void. Is it gonna be enough? The root comes in, stop the time wall. They bring him down. The void is out of here. Now they're looking for Weehar as well. He's got the TP away. There's nothing to cancel. He's gone, but three heroes dead on the side of Nigma, two for the side of OG. These fights could not be any closer. Dyer's bottom tower is under With the set fake. So a lot of mind games going on. Oh, Miracle is setting up for a beautiful three-man chrono. chronosphere onto the supports all caught in the river. And now ILTW, he's not a support. He's a big boy. He's just getting taken down, pounded by the Death Ward. Is there anything right. you can do about this, OG? Doesn't look like it. They are looking for the Zeus, though. Tolson finds the one turnaround, Kelly. He's actually going up the high ground for more. Mind control and Kroki ready to wait him here. Is Zeb? Oh, no. The RP combo up with the destruction or this combo here as Zeb makes a nice blink up to the high ground. It's okay. They're buying time for Topson to do his thing in the back lines. He's bullying Kuro and GH, or is it the other way around? I can't quite tell with this guy. He's able to take down one. Ethereal Blade comes out onto the other. Missile's gonna come down as well. GH, he does dodge out the missile. And he actually knows he needs to get away. Zeb, though, with the skewer, no they get way. the kill. Topson, man. This guy is just playing this hero like it's 2025. Meanwhile, Miracle into the trees, making the TP away. They won't be able to find him and he gets himself out. Well, they get that carry out of there at the very least. It's gonna be pretty annoying to try and prepare for tops. I'm like, ah, I'm sure he's gonna do this uh, Morphling Earth Spirit Mirror. Oh no, he's picked Magic Damage Gyro this time. Great. Throw those papers out the window, but Nengamaru by no means out of this one. And with ILTW walking up to the high ground, serving himself up to the pad. Let's go allow the to come out. They've got out Topson. Can they bring him down? Do they have the damage? It looks like they do. Topson though gets off the Ethereal Blade at the very last second. Now the BKB as well. He's gonna survive through this. Miracle actually has to retreat. GH is coming in though. He wants this kill so badly. He wants to bring him down, but the BKB is still going. They might get the return kill, but we blinks in. Finish off with the lightning bolt. This is Nygma's fight. Three heroes dead, along with the carry in the mid laner. It's already over for OG. They just need to try and get themselves out of there. No tail, though, unfortunately, does not have the Icarus dive. He's got 20 charges on his holy locket. I only just noticed he had a holy locket, but it's not going to save him here, unfortunately. OG making that over aggressive play into that high ground without taking the right steps to penetrate that area. Well, the comeback dream looking pretty sick for OG, but all of a sudden, Nigma just reminding us why this team is so damn good. As the courier running around his face, <laughs> Miracle basically saying, I see you. I see you. 
I know what's going on. It's just going to be a I've Chronos, Chronos deal. Bit. Yeah, like, how does he not get Chronos here is the question. Well, need to guess fight. we're going to find out. Let's see. Topson running up onto the high ground. They're able to take down Mind Control straight off the bat. They've got the Zeus. He's in some trouble as well. In fact, no one's coming to save him. There is no Chronos Chronosphere available. William to the in. Inside the Roche pit, he jumps in. Miracle is going to be able to grab that. He just grabs her. Use it immediately. Locks down the Troll Warlord for the duration. Is it enough? Yes, it is. Miracle finds the value and gets two kills. What a player. He brings them both down. Meanwhile, Thompson still trying to fight, but it's one man versus the world. The man never wins in that occasion. He's going to fall as well. A dieback from Seb makes this really, 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 really bad. Did indeed get clapped. Well, Barracks is starting to crumble. Enigma, there's no stopping them now, although a jump forward from Miracle. Pretty scary. LTW is back. Seb's going to be back in five seconds, and they have the buyback on the Shadow Demon, which they're going to use immediately. I'd see W. Again. pretty low. Saxa comes in, saves him with the disruption. GH is just not missing the Supernova. Going to chase back. LTW just needs to hit some creeps to keep himself alive here. He's going to try himself forwards inside that ultimate, but he's built himself too much. Saxa actually going to absorb the Nimbus hit, which keeps the Troll Warlord alive, but he really needs to go and get some HP for himself. He does have himself a Satanic, so could still heal up from that as well. Will anyone fall into his trap? It doesn't look like it. Not today. But uh, it's very tempting for him to jump here. It might be more than tempting as I use the Thunder Gods to get the vision down. Miracle gonna jump in the back lines, try and find Seb, thinking about dropping the Chronosphere. Doesn't want to do so straight away. Meanwhile, the Nimbus comes down. Chronosphere, that is so good. Catches Phoenix and the Magnus, but he actually can't jump away. LTW gets the chain roots out onto him. Seb now gonna drop the RP. They they might be able to take away his first life, but he actually drags him back under the tier two tower. Not quite sure if Seb wants to be alone with this void, but they're gonna chase him away. Interesting fight as they do bring down the Zeus in the back lines. We are being dead. The they rest can of get the him team, twice. they're nearby-ish. But they've got a lot to do here. They need to kill Miracle twice over with Mind Control waiting to jump in with the Bash. Will do so, allowing Miracle to try and turn around. He's got that Satanic try and keep himself alive, but he is going to die. Aegis will pop. He has the cheese. He is ready to come back for life number two. Mind Control also trying to jump in and help him out, turning around onto RTW. RTW gets off the ultimate, though, fighting up with Miracle. Miracle can't win this engagement, or can he as he fights him into him? No way. There is no way. Supernova comes crashing down. Miracle dies for the second time around. Meanwhile, GH finds a pick on the back line, but now we'll be be punished well Corot's gonna be punished for it as he gets dragged back in by Seb RTW with the double kills it's good to just kind of swoop in and blast it but yeah I kind of want to see the spell prism on the shadow demon myself but oh Corot oh he's got the telescope actually yeah. yeah he's been dragged out of position mind control jumping into this one as well I mean they are gonna be able to kill off Kuro very easily mind control needs to run himself away meanwhile the back lines uh oh Jared Coptic tries to go for the backstab players but gets himself killed off St misstep from Thompson gets him killed and he has no buyback Thompson's backstab plays can only work so many times in one game yeah. before they start to realize what his plan is. We all know Tail forced to pop that supernova right here as they get on top of mind control. Hey, He's losing his health pretty quickly. The oh, Yules no comes bash. out though to try and control him up, but it's not gonna matter, or is it? The Sunray coming through, but he's got the BKB to keep himself alive. Meanwhile, GH jumps on top of Saxon, but Saxon's gonna turn around, drop the disruption. Now GH could be the one in some trouble. He's got the hex out onto the troll warden, trying to control ILTW. He's got himself a battle trance available as well, along with the BKB. Not an easy target to bring down by any stretch of the imagination. Miracle still holding it back. Already used that chrono sphere. They'd rather just reset here. They'd rather just wait. Meanwhile, Seb. Seb. He can't afford to die. Keep on back. LTW getting very low as well. Popping that BKB and Satanic. Just healing off that creep near camp nearby. Keep himself healthy. Miracle. Waiting. Looking to go in. That has no Krona, remember. So his... Two and a half second disable. Very tense moment such a here treat. in that. Yeah. They're looking. <laughs> Mind control. Oh, Wrapping around. Where are they going to find? They want Seb. They want Seb. He doesn't have a buyback. Yeah, He's a true, short true. kill. Yes, indeed. In the trees, Thunder God's gonna find it. Are they gonna go in for it? Miracle, they he's got, got the Chronosphere available. They will be able to drop it down onto the Magnus, but in comes a disruption from down the map. They do save him, RP. keep him alive a little bit longer, but he can't get off the RP anyway. He is dead. LTW in some trouble, popping that ultimate, trying to turn it around onto the Faceless Void, but the Faceless Void is more than happy to tank up into this one. And now he's got the Satanic coming out the other side. He's gonna be able to drop the Troll Warlord. Troll Warlord is dead. He has himself a buyback, but he does not want to use it. Saks are coming back into this one as well, trying to fight up with Tops, and yours comes out of the Shadow Demon, the arrow's coming through as well. Multi-shot arrows coming out in every which direction. No buyback on Sax either. Immediate dieback from him, in fact. Arrows coming out in every direction. No tail. ILTW and Thompson, the only ones left to defend for the next 70 seconds. 
Miracle jumps in immediately, jumping onto a couple of the Gyrocopter, using that time walk bash combination to try and bring him down. Gyrocopter's gonna be this target. Can they kill him off? Yes, they can. No buyback on him either. They're gonna keep on chasing his RTW. He's gonna be the next target. No tail. He's gonna lose his life just outside the base. And down goes RTW as well. It's a triple kill for Miracle, and that will be it. The GG is called. Some days. You just can't beat Miracle when he's playing on this faces, boy. He is just too damn good at this hero. And GH on the Marana as well. The moment they got rid of Thompson, the fights just seemed so easy. Yeah, and I guess Kuroki now is going to be that hero that actually will be able to react to the movements of Saxer of Thompson. You know, Puck, level 6, level 7, does like to TP to mm -hmm. one of the side lanes and make an active move. And then Thompson with Saxer lurking. They do have vision on the Earth Spirit, so we... Shouldn't get caught off guard by this. Still gonna get rolled on though. Oh. Wee's walked into it. Boulder smash there and Topson. Mm, that fairy fire buys a second of time, but first blood is spilled. Topson, he's already level six. If he shows up mid again, he's just gonna get coiled and he's gonna get some TP support and kill this storm. And Phoenix up at top. G oh, Sanks are down bottom dying. GH is dying top lane to RTW and No Tail. Seb is trying to sprint forward. There's action on both side lanes and Topson rotating in. Gets the two-man coil. The surge on mind control doesn't really get much done because he's just trapped in there. Down. And there's an urn from Thompson. That's his first item. Mind control gets the last eye on shell out before a double kill is given to that puck from mid lane. He's got a mask of madness already. Middle tower. And level seven. That's not so bad. Yeah, he's out leveling. Give him a few the more troll. minutes. Yeah. Drops he he really is actually. Mind control drops the wall. GH is here, and Seb actually gives up on the kill, but Saxa secures it. Kicks that boulder forward while Storm zips in. Kuroki's charged towards Seb in the Toss back end. The way. That's a nice blood right though. Catching Phoenix. Dodge from Storm with the ball lightning. So they turn onto GH and the puck does arrive, like you say, with the coil back up. Trapping Kuroki inside. The rest of OG. Miss it, aren't we? Sprinting forwards as we is completely out of mana, but they don't have any further catch. And that charge back into the blood right actually puts Kuroki in a spot of bother. Silent stop. Tanky boy, this spirit breaker, but Thompson dominating. They want to fight for the bounty. They don't want to give this bounty to OG, but they can't help it. Puck is just too strong this early into the game. Also asserting a bit of dominance around those ancient stacks as the god strength and vacuum back finds no tail. Seb rupturing the Sven, but GH is here with the sunray to heal them up. In comes Saxa, big magnetize, kicks away the miracle Sven as the storm's aiming on the puck, ball lightning away there, and Saxa's actually just fallen. Topson, thinking about the orb and the waiting rift in, it is still a pretty good fight for OG if they can just launch themselves towards that big target, but Miracle, he's bought enough space for himself, he's life stealing, up off the creeps, finally Topson. dies to Topson, jumps away as that Dream Coil does keep Mind Control's Darks here held in place, but he's falling. Fame shift away from the fiery spirits, the Sunray burning through the fairy dragon, but it's a double kill. Topson, really playing out his mind to skirt the edges of that fight and just about escape with his life. The thing is, we have is like far away from that orchid that's the problem he's only got 3800 network 12 minutes into the game he's been Ooh. suffering quite a lot because sven has been taking his jungle nice coil they've annihilated these two kuroki and mind control Sorry. magnetized up storm zips back in they've got a pretty sven? decent wall and a supernova there too Thompson in the midst of it all he's not got many spells left tries to orb jaunt but kuroki with mind control both fall trading for two in return rtw showing his face in the mid lane Thompson, toying with the rupture from Seb. Rupture. Miracle's gonna get healed Heals. up. With that sun ray and Baby Kuroki. Sun. Oh, Kuroki's finally level six, but we taking down Sax. A dream calls there again, only onto one. Finding GH on that Phoenix. While Miracle, he's just getting clicked down. Seb on a killing spree removes the Sven, and now Nigma. What what do you have left? Storm's not joining this fight. Mind Control's just been left dead to rights, and a double for Seb. They could even go onto GH. Wedding Rift is ready. There's the urn. The right click's coming. Oh, GH. Should have the dive in a second. Doesn't even need it for now. Yeah, they did not expect that OG was going to commit onto Miracle there. They were trying to make their own play onto No Tail and just didn't work out. Fighting in two different places at the same time for Nigma. And bye bye, Kuroki. 4v4. It is going to help Saxa. I mean, sorry, we a little bit. On get to that orchid faster. Oh, we. No, no, no. That's not what oh, you wanted. Cool. That rod of Atos. Seb is there, ready to strike. And now they've ruptured up Miracle. Topson's about half HP. He has the three-man coil. Orbs forward. The rest of his team trying to get in there with a nice rolling boulder in. They magnetize up three of them. And Nigma are in a lot of trouble. They've got a good supernova trying to zone back OG. They do fall back, but now striking again. As Topson falls, Sven, though, does get 
Removed by that troll warlord and her spirit in the end. They're probably thinking, hey, whoever shows bot, we go kill them. And just look at OG, they all TP bot lane. We're gonna it's die. So good. They've got the coil. Straight in with the bot. Oh my god. Where did he go? <laughs> and the worst part is he still doesn't have his orchid. Oh no. When he's alive, they still can't make any smoke plays yet because they're still missing that orchid. Miracle gets jumped on as well. These boulders from Sax are just finding target after target. Supernova's gonna try and zone them away from the Sven, but the Blood oh, Rite's there. He's very low, the rupture's still going. Tanked up by the urn, the wall's dropped. In comes Mind Control, but there's the Guardian Angel coming through from No-Tail. Miracle tries to turn and fight, but his physical damage means nothing. No-Tail's gods are more powerful than yours, and GH found by the Blood Rite and Orb. MC and Kuro left with nothing left to do in this fight. Storm maybe with a zip in and a vortex focusing onto that puck, but no tails. Backup heal. plan, the saves, the heals, and Thompson's in again. Good bash and kill on the puck at long last. And we, thankfully, does survive for Enigma, but a roll in sucks. He, he is hungry. Might have overstepped for a second though. Roshan 4, my god, okay, that's what's happening. Sax is rolling in, so they can't contest Roshan at all. RTW just soloed it. <laughs> and Storm has Orchid now. Dark's here. He's gonna tank up the coil. And again, Saxa pairing up with Thompson, kicking him and snapping Big it. Kick. Nice little mech comes out from the dark here, but he's still trapped inside the blood, right? And Storm Spirit has a long zip away, but look at who's waiting for him. We down to a very low mana. RTW's there, oh, he's wow. gonna be catching him. What? We is still. He's, he's oh. dying. Kuroki's bashing him. Okay, the Storm finally gets back, and Kuroki has actually saved his life, but given up his, his own in the exchange. Look at Saxa. Saxa finds the Storm Spirit stunned, a Sans killed. Maybe in a second when they see the rest of OG. Yeah, they've, they've spotted and pinged Saxa now. So that's the immediate move for Miracle to clear the wave and then run away. Hops Thompson's e on his tail though. E-Blade slows him down, has the coil, catches up to the Sven, and in comes the damage and the silence stun from Saxa. Kick and snap the coil as uh, elsewhere, Weeha has been slain by LTW. Obliteration by OG. As, oh god, they're going into mind control. Ruptured up, RTW finds a double kill as the troll is going wild. Kuroki, is he going to get netted up and trapped inside the blood right? It looks like he will before Seb will even fall. GH can't get the takedown on anybody. And that Yule Scepter, it buys a second of time. But Phoenix without dive can't retreat from that hungry troll with a triple kill for RTW. And the first lane of barracks. Nothing to stop them. Yeah, nearly... Where's, takes him out. where's Thompson? Ah, uh, he's middle. <laughs> I was fully expecting Thompson to just come out of nowhere and just snipe GH. They're aiming Thompson with the Orchid. He e blades himself before they can finish him off. Vacuum back into the wall. Not going to work out for them as the Supernova coming down. Thompson does fall and Miracle getting some good damage in. Finally, the Guardian Angel arrives from No Tail. And Miracle surged, BKB'd up. Charging forward towards RTW, but that's a troll with a basher and a battle trance. He turns face and he mashes into that Sven. Miracle's down with no buyback and unstoppable is what RTW is. Into GH we go. Kuroki tries to bash them back, but OG unstoppable at this point. Phoenix, blood right, doesn't tap him, but the final little axe thrown by the troll will. Two full lanes of barracks gone. It's even like that TI gyro diffuser blade game. You know, it's just like, yeah. oh, I told my team oh, I have diffuser genius. blade. <laughs> yeah. They didn't know. I didn't say anything. It was like, guys, I have diffuser blade. Let's fight. Okay. Let's freaking roll with it. <laughs> Believe and trust in Thompson. Oh, Miracle. The wait. Ruptured up still. And the coil actually catches both of the cores. The roll in from Saxa. Miracle turns with the BKB stun. Thompson being focused on the good vacuum wall. This is good for Enigma. The Sven is whacking into them. He have killed off the Omni Knight. The Bloodseeker falls as well. But RTW still standing tall. Turns with the troll. Bashes into the Sven. And Miracle, he's done for. Magnetized and slain as the double buybacks do come through from Enigma. But it's the supports. And now the storm arriving. Saxa rolling away. We still with that half mana left. Does catch out the Earth Spirit. Find yet another kill. Where's Thompson? I saw an orb. Ooh, he's low HP. E-Blade. Gets off no the phase shift. And we is completely out of mana. Purification gonna heal him up. And Thompson jumping back towards other targets. And ILTW finds the dive back in Kuroki. Nothing to stop the mind control TP home. In trouble. A lot of trouble. He's got 12 stacks already. They're not gonna be able to defend this at this rate. It was like a pretty perfect vacuum. The wall, the Sven was in position. Just lacking he the wants damage. To go back in. He's just waiting for that BKB. One second, and there it is. Storm gets the Vortex on him, and then what? RTW turns and fights him. The Blood Right catches before Silence. the Ball Lightning comes, and that is real sad for him as Miracle insta-bashed. No TP home, 
After being ruptured up by Seb and GG Cole. All tied up, one apiece. That was just so one-sided. I mean, this is what happens when you lose three lanes. Like, it never stopped from OG because they didn't rely on exactly. any, like, cooldowns. You, know? you called it. Thompson Oracle. Okay, at least you got that one. You called, you called it. called the Thompson Oracle. The miracle, again, is that be-all and end-all. It is the Enigma PA, the miracle show. He's going to be that only real carry hero here. So it's going to be we off lane and PA mid. And they're going to put the Tidehunter in the safe lane against the Sven. And oh, Kuro is going to get one more hit. Oh, nice. Saxon will die. Stop wasting your time. And there's the roll in with the Phantom Strike. Kick back. Topson has a Fairy Fire to play around with. And the Heavenly Grace, but he's still going to fall. No tail. Kill. Can't do too much after that. That's a very big kill. But Topson will come back into the lane with four well, bottom now. We. No more Spirit Siphons. And the right clicks from RTW. One more will get him another bonus. Ooh, Ooh the Fairy Fire. Big. RTW going in very deep. Oh. He's going to die to tower here. Traded out by Wii. You were saying this lane setup from Nigma. The fact that Slark wants to keep chasing the DP. Oh, miracle. miracle. Oh my god, the Purifying Flames. He's got Fairy Fire and the final click. Got him. Topson gets him with a touch of the right click attack. Yeah, top as well. Right, go ahead RTW's for more. here. He What's sure RTW is. doing here? He's a, being a real aggressive little fishy boy. Mind Control's going to give him another Essence Shift stack. Three built up for him now. Oh, wow. Four minutes in. First rotation of the Slark. Now GH dying as Topson. He just burst him down at the bottom rune. I mean, your stat gain is pretty garbage on Slark. Holy crap. Wait, is that is that right? Slark has less than two stats per level on every stat. Mid lane, mid lane. Yeah. Oh my god, the burst onto Miracle. Arrow not connecting, and in comes Wee. Exorcism pop to chase down Topson. No tail body blocking. He's not got any more heals, but Topson still has the Heavenly Grace on him, so he's all fine. And the Hammer coming in from Seb. Wee's going deep. He wants Topson, and my, he'll have it. Finds the Oracle all the way in the back while Seb gets daggered, slowed, the boulder smash connecting, and there's the Spirit Siphon, doubled now for that DP of Wii. Like, what's next yeah, for Pos 3, Sven? You... Oh, roll in. Uh... GH trying to make a move onto Omni Knight. I don't know if they can do this into this Radiant Triangle area. They do pop Exorcism, but a good arrow holds back Wii as RTW, the rest of OG, retreating to the left hand side. Yules up and the catch on no-tail, forcing out the Guardian Angel, but the Ravage is there. Onto Topson. A nice little Ghost Scepter pop, but the Will of Wisp will catch him on his way out. Slark, Mirana, all having to run. And that Seb Sven, he's on the other side of the map farming. <laughs> yeah, this is what's feeling really awkward for Moji. They don't really have that hero who can just start the team oh, fight. No more leaps. Because Sven. Good Stormhammer, but Saxa blown up by Wii. Final Crypt Swarm there, and this five man maneuver in from Nigma. Oh, they really oh, want to find Miracle. The oh, they could kill gonna him twice him. here. They got Slark him. finds yeah. him. That's the Silver Edge used already for the first kill. And the rest of Nigma, they're trying to come down here. Mind Control is coming down. They stun up Miracle, half HP, and he's burst down. Can't Phantom Strike away. He'd just taken the talent. So maybe if we was a little bit closer, there was a chance of escape. But OG, they're on the run forward. The Blinding Light trying to push them back, but Kuroki's been stunned and broken. Slark wants more. No tail, the wind lace is working wonders. But Kuro's actually cut the him betrayal. off. Betrayal. Guardian Angel? What? He <laughs> saved himself. Why so much time? Jeez. Okay. In comes All the right. rest of OG, and they're trying to think about this one. Enigma on the low ground in a kind of awkward position, but they get the Yules onto the Oracle. Topson's been caught up and stunned, but RTW arrives. The big ravage mind control without blink and jump in. Out goes Topson and no tail follows. RTW going for the TP home, but the Will of Wisp oh. hypnotize catches and they've blown them up. Two core heroes plus the Omni, all removed as Nigma. Fourth place in the GPM. Keeps that spot going. Slark. Pretty deep dive here. Again, playing around these long cooldown ultimates. RTW taking Monk Control low, but the silence onto the Omni Knight and Miracle. Nice false promise there. Keeps No Tail alive, so the heals will keep coming. They need to get RTW out, though, as we spirit siphoning through them all. Purification comes from No Tail. And we, he's moved up the high ground. He's one versus four, but the Yule Scepter up the fortunes and down. Kicked away, GH saved the day and now rolls away. Oh my god, Nigma really playing it incredibly tight there as Miracle poking, prodding, and getting the jump onto Saxa. Finds the initiation he needs. Gush towards Thompson. God strength though. Sven wants in. in. Jumps forward towards the Miracle PA, but they've got the Yules up into the air and now the will o -Wisp comes. Dragging both of them inside and Seb's annihilated. Weeha's godlike. RTW got to run away. An arrow will stop the advance of Nigma now.
but they're still pinging for more targets. Slark, it looks like he will be able to escape from this, but the rest of them might not be so lucky. Fortune's End doesn't bring him down from the Yules there, but an E-Blade and the magic damage will take out GH. We yes, with the XO. Oh, he doesn't, does he? Oh, dearie me. Thompson picked apart. We and Miracle pairing up beautifully. It's baiting out OG, especially GH, with those kicks. They and have Blink Ravage. Rollouts. They oh, use yeah. it, and they catch the Slark. I don't know if they can see him. They get the no silence vision. on him. They turn with the arrow. The Silver Edge there. Mind Control dropping. But the Yules under PA stops Enigma from blowing anyone else up just now. The trouble is RTW with the Shadow Dance. He's a slippery devil and gets away from danger. But this is OG who have expended a decent amount to try and stay in the fight. And losing a couple of heroes in the process. OG don't seem to there have one with one. two heroes dead. <laughs> they don't. No Exo, no Ravage, but it doesn't matter. Radiant's Slark bought a Mithril Hammer that does not have a buyback. Right, but the amount of impact he's been able to have against this uh, heavenly grace and just pretty much making the Sark not able to get away. And he's letting this you know, Earth Spirit and PA just keep on jumping with the Chakra Magic. The kickback, Sven's pop God Strength, and they've used up the Cottle, but the arrow there on PA may give them an opportunity. Is the beacon even Sven chases forwards towards the Cottle? That's what the ping was for. RTW said, go kill the Cottle, but they can't do it. Stunned back from the Storm Hammer again, and that Will O Wisp is kind of wasted. But the jump from Nygma still continuing forward as the ghosts are flowing and Seb is falling. The Ravage comes now when they focus the big targets. Tops and Seb both down and RTW, he is struggling to do any damage. GH is going to be the only hero he can kill as the false promise is there onto the Slark. Now back onto the PA, but Nygma are here in force as the PA and we are triple killing and mega killing through the rest of OG. Who's left buyback. now? It's Saxa and RTW. A buyback from Notel, but Mirana falling. A miracle double. Oh, is RTW, RTW going in for this? Matches? That is risky. Uh, Silent stop. He didn't get dark packed off. That is a lot of damage that he has to really sustain oh, through. They've got no tail behind him. Doesn't get to the high ground. He's still being burst down, but they don't have reveal anymore. Turning on towards the no tail. Omni Knight now. Could be a dieback from him. All spells on cooldown and no tail. Giving over another streak to Miracle. That That's really bad. Uh, Sven is alive, though. He's going to try and catch something. They need something. Miracle? Miracle just jumps in. Sven's down to like half HP immediately, but it's a good break on the PA and Miracle's dead. Good move from OG with the limited resources they've got, making it work. And yeah, we, BKB TP. Nothing to stop it. Arrow slides past the tide. They've got the Yule Scepter up to find mind control. And at least something here. Out of all the buybacks and the desperation from OG, they get something. Yep, he's got 100 plus agility at the moment. Tide's courier just up above Roshan. Yeah, <laughs> wanders into the pit like, oh. What's happening in here? That cheese. Roll in from GH. Oh, Try to make the initiation happen. Kuro has also wandered into the pit and Seb just slays him. Roshan dead. GH oh, snatches snatch. it. The Earth Spirit grabs it under the very nose here of the Slark and the Sven. As the arrow and the Yules, the DP gets caught a little bit, but they'll focus the Earth Spirit instead. RTW turning this game on its head oh, as the Wii DP doesn't have BKB. Or will in a second, though. Yules up onto that Mirana to try and stop the initiation, but doesn't BKB before the Storm Hammer lands. Now the Slark is pummeling into her, pops the Exo, and runs away. Trying to get back into yeah. battle with the rest of his team, but OG are now the He's ones on with the five way. alive. Seb going in, the Ravage from Mind Control Ravage. saves up, and Wii's blown up! That E-Blade combo from Thompson! Removing Wii from the game and they jump back in again from RTW. The next level play, Notel says. They've got the PA. She's got BKB. Forced to use it as the fortunes and arrows were coming. But look at RTW. The Kahana's on this man. Diving tier 4s. He doesn't have Aegis, oh, but he's, he's got G's. Oh, pushed out. So he's going to be okay with it. Smoke Another into smoke. smoke. into oh. smoke. Slark in the front lines. The gun, Where's the Ravage? The jump in from Mind Control. No Ravage yet. They get the Guardian Angel off in time. No tail. Cast his spells and they focus the PA with the Slark now. Onto Miracle. They stun him up. Half HP PA. Forced to BKB. And now jump towards Thompson. But the False Promise is there. Roll back in to try and silence them off. Stop Thompson. Get the magic damage off. But he's got an E-Blade. Gets away from the PA. Keeps jumping forward towards. And the Spider Legs. Away from the Will O' Wisp. But the Cottle gets off that big white light and forces the Slark to run away from the fight. It's GH. Is the one casualty so far. Forced to buy back. Seb forced after away by no tail. We giving chase forward still, but RTW turns to face the DP. He's got cheese. They still want to fight. They got the Heavenly Grace and the cheese ready on Slark. They're waiting for this Exo to run out. They have Blink Ravage still. 
BKBs are down, DP with a good silence, but the Yule's onto the tide, and the jump towards Saxa, e played there, saves the Marana. PA, Miracle has no BKB! Oh, he's dead! Burst out oh, by Saxa no. and Topsa, now onto the tide! Mind control, he doesn't even want to use Ravage at this point, they're gonna lose Wii, the bigger target instead, and it really is, into the meat grind, Enigma Go, turned into Sausage by OG! Thompson on a killing spree, and Saxa, has he got your, oh, yeah he does, Yules into Arrow yet again, with Slark finding yet another tasty morsel. A double kill oh, for Slark. So much. A huge and fight. Stacks too. Not have a buyback. Tidehunter just gonna give this up. They're going for more. They've got GH. That Yules into Arrow really is a thorn in their side as he's blown up by the E-Blade, and now buyback. it's a two versus five. OG could That's maybe think about too. Going for tier four, they can't go for multiple lanes of barracks. Either it's take this mid lane and then shift back to push out side lanes, or they go for tier fours. Or bait out more kills by touching the tier fours, yep. right? Yep. But the wraparound from Nigma here. Round. Big this wraparound. This is good. This is how they can do it. Oh, it's gorgeous oh, onto so Thompson. They find the jump. Now the Ravage with the Willow is on them. It's huge from Nigma. They've made the jump, but they've got the play. Seb has the BKB and run away. Saxa, RTW, all under the Moonlight Shadow. OG. Full retreat into reverse mode. Sax is still gonna get rolled on though. GH finds the catch somehow. That vision on the high ground as well. just about spots them and RTW is the bigger target, but he BKB TPs. So back to Saxon with the Yules up into the air. No leaps remaining. Two, three quick kills in a row from Nigma. No, I Ice Frog is watching this. He's like hype series. Let's make things interesting. Yep. Let's just you know spawn this Roshan right away. We don't need to sit around and wait. Look at Nigma again with this really swift wraparound play. Sven spends his storm hammer, but a quick blink out by Seb. The abyssal blade catch though in from RTW. The Wee. ravage will stop him in his tracks as we nearly gets blown up. It turns with the BKB. Slark gets the full promise on him, and the Willowisp is there as No Tail blown up completely out of the face of the map. But Miracle, he's in trouble now. RTW giving chase. Yules up into the air, and they've got the arrow and the star storm. Body block from Tide is not enough, and PA's dead Two for 100 rapiers. seconds. The rapiers are all over the place. GH, he's trying to roll himself out of this one, and Wii's exorcism goes star flying around, but Nigma have oh, lost out it. so heavily. Heavily! Four heroes down, the double buyback comes, and Kotl shredded now by Saxon with a double kill. Oh, they really tried to commit onto LTW. They saw that the Ravage hit onto the Slark, and PA went in with the Abyssal Blade, but here comes the big Omni save and the Oracle ulti. They just can't fight if they don't get Topson and Notio first. Slark with double rape, you're on your base now. Game three, potentially coming to a close. No PA, no Tide for a solid minute on both sides. And they've got a Storm Hammer there and a False Promise, allowing LTW just a munch away the rest of Nigma. GG is called, GG. and the series goes to OG. Wow. Game one and this game three is just <laughs> so back and forth. You know, all the small little details where every player's positioning, who they're jumping first, who they need to focus it was just so spot on from both these i i have not watched a series like this in a very long time and og just managed to uh take it under nigma's rug or under their feet just like that yeah, boom.